one of the difficulties right now of running against Donald Trump in a Republican primary is that if you go completely anti MAGA, there may not be enough Republicans in the party for you to win the primary. But if you go MAGA in facing off against Trump, well, why would somebody vote for your MAGA when the MAGA guy is actually running? And this is the problem that Ron DeSantis donors are now identifying. Fascinating article in Business Insider. DeSantis mega donors revolt in private chat, saying if they wanted a MAGA candidate, they would donate to Trump, according to this report. Really, really interesting stuff. A group of wealthy DeSantis donors criticized him in a private chat. Rolling Stone obtained screenshots of the group chat between Republican mega donors. Earlier this week, a wealthy Florida donor publicly said he'd changed his mind about financially supporting DeSantis. This is the latest indication that the Florida governor's wealthy supporters are starting to revolt with a Republican mega donor recently going public about no longer wanting to support uh, to financially support DeSantis's yet to be announced campaign. The screenshots reveal these wealthy Republican donors questioning the governor's chances of beating former President Donald Trump in a Republican primary. They're correct to be doing that. The polling is an absolute disaster for DeSantis lately. Um, a series of recent political missteps, including continuing with his out of state publicity tour while massive flooding took place in Fort Lauderdale, appear to have enraged these donors, Rolling Stone reported. Responding to the Fort Lauderdale incident, the media outlet said one donor wrote, What the F is wrong with RD? Another donor asked who in the group could reach DeSantis the quickest to complain about it. Several other donors were furious that the governor referred to Russia's invasion of Ukraine as a quote territorial dispute, with one calling on DeSantis to walk back the comment. DeSantis did later go back on the comment after receiving criticism. Um, according to a Rolling Stone source familiar with the communication, the donor who called for the walk back wrote a livid response. The source said, quote, my understanding is that the message was if we wanted an effing MAGA candidate, we would donate to Donald Trump. Other donors wrote they wanted DeSantis to hit back harder at Trump, with one describing him as a damn wimp. This is this is just delightful. OK, so th there's a couple different things going on here. Yes, DeSantis has obsessed himself with expanding the don't say gay bill, which we will talk about on today's bonus show, the Disney stuff, the anti woke stuff, et cetera. He also is alienating Florida mega donors by leaving Florida and selling books in South Carolina and Chicago and wherever else he's been while Florida is having actual problems. Now, the, the issue, there's a couple of different issues here to talk about. It could be argued, and I believe it could be argued accurately, that if you really want to do something different in the Republican Party right now, it's not DeSantis that you need to turn to. Really, it's like Mitt Romney or even further away, Liz Cheney. Now, I'm not saying that the Republican Party right now has enough people in it who actually want to get away from MAGA and would go for something like Romney or Liz Cheney. I don't know that that's the case. And in fact, it very well may not be. The problem with DeSantis is that DeSantis is too MAGA. He frames himself as sort of like the reasonable MAGA, the effective MAGA, the MAGA who won't get himself in trouble because of the lack of decorum that Trump has or whatever the case may be. But that's a really difficult situation for Republicans, because with Trump under indictment, and yet still in a commanding lead in the Republican primary, but mostly losing to Biden in hypothetical general election polls, which may still change. If you're Ron DeSantis, you're in the situation of, well, I'm going to be like Trump, but better. You can't beat Trump at MAGA. You just can't. Even if it's accurate that DeSantis would be more effective at MAGA because he wouldn't get himself into as many self-inflicted problems as Trump did, you can't out MAGA the MAGA guy, so that's not going to work. If you say I denounce Trump altogether, including Trumpism and all of the things that are wrapped up with MAGA right now, at least based on the polling, we're seeing you can't actually beat Trump in a primary right now. So it's really quite a circumstance between a rock and a hard place, you could say, that the Republican Party finds itself today. And this is what happens when you choose the rage voters. As I explained yesterday, they created anger, fear, voting, and they blew it up to historic proportions recently. We didn't just find ourselves randomly in a situation where conservative voters are angry and also misinformed. 
the misinformed anger has been a strategy for the Republican Party once they realize they can't win on policy anymore. And this goes back a long time. You could go back. I mean, if you read Raves of Rancor, which is a really good book, maybe out of print now, you will learn about how a lot of this started in the early AM radio, talk radio era, so on and so forth. And so DeSantis's broader problem is you can't out MAGA MAGA, but if you denounce MAGA, it's not clear you can win. The narrower problem over the last month or two is he just won't move on. He's sticking with don't say gay. He's sticking with trans. He's sticking with Disney and he's sticking with anti woke. Trump would have moved on to the next thing by now. And it's not like Trump's political instincts are necessarily perfect by, by any means. But Trump would have either by accident or by advice from people around him or by instinct moved on to something new. DeSantis is sticking with these issues on which he is actually losing not only many of the voters, but also his donors. This is going to be a fascinating campaign. I love the complete uh, a crash and burn of it. And I'm also aware that there's a strategic component, which is like, who would we rather Biden face based on the polling we're seeing right now? We'd rather Biden face Trump if indeed Biden is going to run for reelection, which he says he is, but has not actually filed for at this point in time. Let me know your thoughts. Make sure you have subscribed to the YouTube channel at youtube.com slash the David Pakman show. What a packed show that I have for you today.